My favorite dish to cook is the one that I cook just right. You know, food is about the mood. That's what I always say, you know what I mean? There's times when a light white wine and a spicy pad thai will just like change my life. And there's times I want a heavy red wine and a big beautiful piece of braised or roasted or seared meat. So it depends on the weather, it depends on who I'm with, and it depends on the mood. Now when you're doing your show, do you have producers and this and that, people telling you what they want you to cook on certain days, or is it totally up to you? Well, you know what's great about the Food Network and Cooking Channel in general is they're the real deal. They just, all they want to do is find people that have that have a passion to give food knowledge and food expertise and then let them do their thing. So there's a general structure, but it's really about let it unfold naturally because that's when great things happen, right? You can't produce passion. It's got to just be there. Were you shocked when you first started the Food Network Star and then how far you got and how that all Transpired. Well, you know, like everything in my life, I really believe you have to decide the day what the result will be. So I decided I should win day one. That was my mindset because anything else would just make you crazy, right? And then you work backwards. So I was super grateful just to be runner up. It was a gift. You know, it really is. And it's like the fans, these people have made, changed my life because now they're allowing me to wake up every day and do what I love to do. And I am grateful. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, and again, life, it, it, people are amazing. Everybody has something to offer if you listen and you watch. I was inspired by this sweet man who all he wanted to do was take care of his child at the Piccadilly Cafe where I grew up when I was 13 years old and had a work permit. I was inspired because he had a good work ethic. Then I was inspired by Arnold Rossman, this guy in San Francisco. He could talk about food. I mean, you could be full and you're ready to eat after listening to this guy talk about food. You know, he was amazing. He was very inspirational with flavors and ingredients, you know. I mean, all the classics. Bobby Flay, he is inspirational. You know, that guy loves what he does. He's a great chef and he's a great businessman, you know. Alton Brown reminds us that, you know, there is a science behind food and it matters. So everybody offers inspiration. You know, I'm partial to my alma mater, you know, I'm from San Francisco and I got to tell you, you have to go out of your way and not to trip over a great meal or a great food experience and it's really about the food and the people. Of course Manhattan is you know the center of the universe but what I love now more than ever Pittsburgh all these places people are passionate about eating and tasting the world so you I'll be amazed I can end up in almost any city doing one of these events and there's a great restaurant somebody that wants to put their soul on a plate and it's good.